dear praying friends around the world, dear brothers and sisters, we are entering now week number 10 in the 15th week global prayer call. So the first two thirds are behind us, the second, uh, the last third is before us. And now today in week number 10, we very much come to the core of our prayer challenge and of our prayer obligation. We have to look on biblical account on the judgment that the Bible predicts to those nations who move against Israel in the end time context. We read about it in Zechariah 12 and 14 and we read about it in the book of Joel in the last chapter of the book. So please consider your Bible. If you are interested to find out more biblically, please consider my book to exactly that topic about the value of decision. But as for prayer in this week, we just focus on the three main criteria of judgment that's given in the book of Joel in the last chapter at the beginning, where there are three criteria named. Number one, the scattering of the Jewish people. Number two, the division of the land of Israel, which is very up-to-date, a very up-to-date political topic. And number three, a lack of respect for Jewish life. You can read it in the first three verses of the last chapter of Joel, which is chapter 3 in the English Bible and chapter 4 in the German Bible. And then we can consider prayerfully how does our nation stand on those three topics or has stood in history and ask for room for repentance if on any of those three or all three of them we have sinned before God as a nation. For me as a German, this is a very important topic because we have sinned against God. In fact, I would say we are the greatest of all sinners. May God give us grace and room for repentance. But I may say I'm grateful I think he did, to some degree. The peaceful reunification of Germany 25 years ago, 1989-1990, was such a sign of encouragement, of favor, of grace to our nation. May we be faithful to walk in that trust that the Lord has put into us as a German people. But as for you, please regard your own people, your nation, your history, your present situation, especially within the global context, within the context of political unions like the United Nations or the Union of African Nations or Union of Asian Nations. How does your nation take a stand as far as it comes to Israel? Are they going with the flow of majority, which mostly is a very critical position? Or are they um, deep enough in respect for Israel, in gratefulness for Israel, in a positive attitude towards Israel, that they can go out of the flow, step out of the flow and take a stand against what probably is mainstream, a critical attitude, so that the Lord can bless the leaders and can bless your nations. So if any of those three topics of judgment, or even all of them, are part of your history, part of your current political position, please pray for room for repentance for your decision makers and for your leadership. May the Lord give us grace as we call out for mercy upon our nations. Amen.